As the rental crisis has escalated, landlords have become something of the pantomime villains in the mind of the wider public, cast as greedy, rent-hungry home hoggers and part of the problem, not the solution. But is this portrayal really fair or indeed accurate? The buy-to-let market is undoubtedly in good shape at the moment. The Council of Mortgage Lenders figures show that 34,500 buy-to-let mortgages worth a little under £4 billion were handed out in the three months to September. That's up 16% on the previous quarter. This increase has been driven by soaring demand. Stats from spareroom.co.uk show that in London there are almost nine tenants buying for every rental room. But this buy-to-let boom may not just be good news for landlords. According to Charles Morley of Kensington Mortgages, tenants may also be set to benefit in the long run. Demand is far outstripping supply. So we're looking at a situation where um, more and more people are looking for property. Uh, if the buy-to-let market does continue to boom, then more and more property will come into the sector. Uh, as more and more property comes into the sector, that will give choice to the tenant. And potentially, it could lead to a reduction in rents, if not a reduction, potentially a stabilisation in rents, which is going to be good uh, for a tenant. We should encourage uh, the landlord to expand portfolios and the landlord, uh, new landlords, to actually enter the sector. Do you think these, wherever these encouragements come from, like do you think the government or...? I think, I think twofold really. I think yes, the government can help, but also lenders per se. And I think the lending institution market is, is helping the, uh, the private landlord. Uh, it is one of the most buoyant areas uh, of the UK mortgage market at the moment. A lot of people have entered the marketplace. Um, there are a number of new entrants that are due to come in in 2012, including Santander, uh, who are rumoured to be entering the market. So at the end of the day, I think it's, it is something that lenders are moving forward on, and therefore the market is going to expand. Rental property will expand as well. But this expansion isn't being welcomed by everyone. Many critics argue that the buy-to-let market was at the forefront of the noughties housing bubble and that this bounce back is nothing but a return to the credit fueled days of the boom years. For Tim Hyatt, president of the Association of Residential Letting Agents, while now is certainly a good time for prospective buy-to-let landlords, investors still need to keep their wits about them. If I was talking to you now, as I would have been doing in 2008, I would have been saying, well, there is no problem. We've got a shortfall of tenants and we've got three times as much stock, so the tenants that are looking can't make their mind up because they've got too much to choose from. And two years down the line, it could go back to something like that. Or could, maybe not yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, my view on it is that it could, that could easily happen. So if you're an investor landlord and you're entering into this market, I think you can buy well now. I think you can finance it cheaply. I think you can get a good yield. But if you do this, you have to do this as a professional landlord as opposed to an accidental landlord. You've got to take the advice of the local agent, the other agent. You can sit down and you can say, what is the best performing type, property size, style, condition of property that you have on your books at the moment. What is the one thing that I can guarantee rentals, I can minimise my void periods, I can get a good covenant from a tenant and I can let it quickly. Of course action is also needed on the residential mortgage side to help more people into their first property and ease demand on the rental sector. Some will always see landlords as the problem to our housing woes, but when it comes to fixing this property pantomime, while they're certainly not the fairy godmothers of the story, they're not the villains either.